Good morning, everybody. My name is Valerie, and it's great to start the day together. You know, this last weekend, we wrapped up our One Another series with a fantastic panel. But before we turn the corner on this great series, I want to share with you another One Another verse that I really love. And I don't love it because it's all sweetness and light. But I love it because I think it makes a great impact on our relationships. And it comes from 1 Peter 5.5. 5, and that says, clothe yourselves with humility towards one another. And if there's one thing that I think I heard again and again in this series, in the panel on the weekend, what we've seen in scripture, is that leading with humility in our relationships makes a giant impact. I think when you and I approach our relationships with humility, we immediately make an impact for good on that relationship. When we approach with humility, it just creates non-defensiveness and we create opportunities for conversation and connection. But this can be so hard. I mean, think about who's writing this verse. Peter, the disciple who certainly did not always live this out. I mean, Peter's pride got him into all sorts of messes while he was with Jesus. And it's hard for us to live this out too, because you know, doggone it, sometimes I'm right and they're wrong. Or sometimes it's hard because there's so much relational water under the bridge. We think, well, I don't want to back down now. I mean, what will that look like? You know, we think sometimes coming, being humble will come across or weak, or we might be taken advantage of. I think we can come up with all kinds of reasons that the other person needs to get clothed in humility. But this verse is talking to each of us this morning, and it's not saying when this, then clothe yourselves in humility. It's just saying clothe yourselves in humility. And I love how it goes on because it says, clothe yourselves in humility towards one another because, here's the reason, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't particularly want to land on any list of things that God opposes. So when you interact with people today, when you think about your relationships with people today, I want you to just imagine putting on, clothing yourselves in that humility. And let me just encourage you with the truth from the next two verses in 1 Peter 5 that say, humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up. Isn't it so much better to have God lift you up and not yourself? That he may lift you up in due time. And then listen to these familiar words. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. The God of the universe cares for you today. No matter what others think of you, no matter what comes your way in relationships today, the God of the universe cares for you. And I think this is a key when it comes to clothing ourselves in humility towards others, is that when we choose to cast our relationship anxiety on Jesus and trust that he cares for us, even if we don't feel that care from that other person, he cares for us. Then we can clothe ourselves in humility towards one another. I hope you have a great day today. And remember, God cares for you. See you at church this weekend.